What's up folks? How's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own homemade punch bag so you can treat, keep the training going even when you're outside the gym. This one weighs in at just about 100 pounds. Um, you can make changes yours however you want and the way I did it is just a modification on Get Venice. So I'll link his up in the description. But uh, let's show you what you need. The wrapping on the outside, duct tape. At least two rolls. At least two rolls. Um, chain to hang, hook to hang, hooks to hang from the roof, uh, wood screws. You can use brackets if you want, you don't have to. You can see I've got a 65 pound weight down at the bottom, and that I just attached to a rope to hook to a hook on the bottom. So this is just like a bike hook that you'd use um, to hang a bike in a garage, same thing. Um, and that's just so that I can kick this around and it won't go everywhere. Um, and then the inside base is a 4x4. Um, you can use other stuff. I've seen people who've done it with PVC piping and things like that. Um, but obviously whatever you use there is going to be the main factor on how much it weighs. So consider that. Um, and then you want a nice thick wrap around it, especially if it's got metal. I had a piece of wood that has... Um, screws and things sticking out of it, so I definitely don't want to come out here barehand, smack into that, feel that. Um, so I've got a nice thick carpet padding on the inside here. Roll it up. Um, and then, yeah, just duct tape that sucker like crazy. You can do whatever color you want. If you want fun, if you want paint bag, go nuts. Um, black's going to be your standard. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Like I said, it's about 100 pounds. So I can lift it, but it's not like you know, the easiest thing. And uh, I also have room to pull my uh, car into the garage. Okay, today I've got an old 4x4 that is pretty grimy and pretty beat up. So we're going to power wash this sucker, get it looking clean, so it'll come out like this. Couple hours later. Mm, nice. My setup ready, so I got my 4x4. I just finished uh, putting in this hook here. It's right up to the point. Um, this is just a, gonna be a, essentially like a tarp cover. Um, laid it out on a folded carpet, kind of old and thick, but uh. It's still in relatively good condition. I've got this hook on the bottom so that um, when the bag's hanging, that can weight the bottom so it's not all over the place. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a little roll, drill in carpet, and then just roll it all up. Now I've attached just one bit of this outside. I wanted to do a test roll because I did one previously that was not pretty. So I'm just gonna line this up, give it a test roll just to see how it's gonna look at the end. So after that entire spectacle of rolling it up and testing, it was just yeah, get away, bud. It was just too wonky and uh, not really needing what it needed to be. 
at the end. I mean, it was really close, really close, but I was not happy with that. So I undid that, came back here, readjusted some screws, and then uh, hacksawed through this thing to make it uh, make it two separate pieces. That's what it's all afraid to put up, right? Instead of doing one big continuous piece that was going to have this bundling issue as I kept going. Now, it's gonna do the plan and just keep readjusting as we go. Really thick, really good solid layer. <laughs> we make grounded pounds here. But, uh, oh my god, that is fucking. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend this for bare, bare knuckle, but. Once I got gloves on, this will be fine, just fine. And, uh, I just want to get it up and over without losing that tightness to this portion right here so I can drill in here. Not that it's going to make it to the wood, but for the sake of getting that down anyway. So I have wrapped it up. Uh, this thing is fully contained now. Uh, about two full rolls of duct tape. Um, I can see it's all completely wrapped around. I did uh, the top and the bottom a little separately. It's kind of funny. My better one definitely went on the, on the bottom, but oh well. Um, and my hooks on both ends. Uh, Oh yeah, way more compact, way better now that it's all like wrapped and, and kind of kept up. Um, I definitely like doing most of the um, duct tape around the outside is one full continuous piece. It really helped hold it uh, together. And then, oh lord! Oh, there she is. She's, uh, I'm about six foot. She's a couple inches shorter, maybe five five. It's, it's about the size of the wood, so I'd imagine maybe like five seven with the carpet adding a little just above and below. And uh, for his weight, uh, I don't know, it's hard to say. I'll have to get back to you on that one, but good lord. That is definitely like a person sized weight. Like, a lot killer. Do some nice uh, suplexing. <laughs> uh. Alright, until next time, this is Mitch and Tristan. Um, bag's finished. Uh, we're just doing the hanging. I drove my car in here. It's me, the Prius, not the fucking nice ass Tesla. <laughs> um, uh, just to get a sense of where the bag will hang and all that so I don't have to take it down and put it back up every time I come in and out of the driveway. Um, so, got some chain to hang it. I'm just judging my length there. Um, screwing into the wood with these hang swinging clips. And then just some um, general screws and little brackets and uh, put it in. So I just found my ideal spot to hang. Uh, I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then put her up. Should be good. Now, I would recommend wearing shoes and such for this. Um, and just in general being safer. But, uh, otherwise, party on. Because uh, I'm doing two hooks, I mean, you could do a different style. You could do four, you could do one if you got a strong one. Um, you know, check that they're even and well balanced. I'm going in at an angle, so it's not ideal, but I at least measured out so that they're even this way. Oh,
forget to get your brackets on before you start twisting if you're using them. And then just tighten her up. Slow it down, take it easy, got my screws put in. Um, I just attached my chain on here and I doubled it up so that it's, you know, not relying on a single length of chain. Popping it onto my hooks if I can manage this. And then we're all set to go. Don't worry, if I fuck up, it'll just rip out all of my teeth. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Hell yeah, baby! And that's a homemade punching bag! Ah, let's get a sucker. Right. Hell yeah! Ah. Oh, my shit, baby! Ah, uh, I feel like the second I turn this off, the whole thing's gonna come crashing down. I'm gonna lose my shit. But otherwise, hell yeah! Get fucked. Okay. Hell 